My first inclination is that we probably don't need to make this with water and instead can make it with boiling milk. Oh yeah, that's gonna be great. Let's just put the whole thing in, right? We can have uh, milk and what? Milk carton and meatball soup. How did a meatball get in there? Just a little tiny bit of cow left over. What's up guys and welcome back to Job Simulator. And for today's episode, we're going to return for more of the worst employee challenge. Because you guys seem to really enjoy the first episode that I made of this and I happen to have a bit of a talent for when it comes to screwing things up, okay? Wouldn't you say one splash means yes? I'm happy that the two of us can finally agree on something when starting out the episode. I'm going to take that one step further and say that Jawbot having a massive self-portrait is just, uh, you know, a little bit arrogant. I'd like to see Tweakbot up there someday. We'll work on that. But for now, I got some shitty food to make. I'm telling you right now, from man to robot, there is nobody outside. Okay, there's no one, so no, I don't, don't want to hear it. Are lined up to order their food to go. No. Humans used to call that... Take out. <laughs> Humans would often stand in line for hours for their meal, even in the middle of the night. Hurry up and get started. Don't keep these bots waiting. He's insane. He, he's completely insane. He's, he's lost it. He's seeing things. I don't want you handling anything tonight, okay? I'm gonna show you how to be the worst ever employee. So you just float there like the awkward turd that you are and, and I'll get to work. Now step one is to make sure that anything that needs to be refrigerated, especially meat, isn't, okay? It, it's gotta be on the floor. People definitely wanna show up for a little bit of salmonella. Eggs? Yeah, they break on the floor. That's perfectly fine though, right? People don't come here to buy whole eggs. I mean, often. Whenever possible, you should taste the food as well. Gordon Ramsay always says that. You want to be tasting. You want to make sure that what you're selling is good. And people love buying half-eaten food. How are we doing? I don't suppose you remembered to mop and sweep before we reopened, did you? Probably not, considering you don't have arms, which is perfect, because this is very bright and colorful and dirty and raw and squishy underneath my feet. So that, that's great. Okay, we're gonna bring in a customer. We're gonna make him something real special, like a uh, pretzel. My batteries need to be recharged and grub is what they need. I normally don't order appetizers, but pretzel sounds so good right now. Can I interest you in a little floor cheese though? How about some half eaten floor cheese? No, pretzel? Well, that's a bummer. How can I screw up a pretzel? I guess in all reality, I, I can't blame you, right? You know, pretzels are delicious. They're just so crunchy and salty, unless you keep them in the sink for a while, and then they're just kind of mushy and gross. <laughs> Here you go. Anything else? Top of liquid could really be great right now. Liquid? So you don't care what liquid, huh? Sure, I've got some interesting liquids around here. Tap water is, is way too high on the menu for you, good sir. You need, um... What else? What else do we have? We could go with dish soap. I could blend something. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go the distance. I'm gonna go the extra mile for you. And uh, how about some blended up floor steak? Yeah, raw floor steak. Uh, okay, yep, yeah, um, just a second. I know breaking the space steak continuum is probably not something that we wanna do right now, but... I can manage it, right? Is that good enough? Is that, uh, hey, that's about a cup. One steak is exactly a cup. That that cannot be a coincidence. That is just a cup of blood, right? I'm pretty sure that's all that is. Anything else? It contains positive emotions towards sweetness. Can I get cake with topping? Cake with topping? Oh, right. I can make cakes in this game. It has been a long freaking time since I've done that, so we can make a microwave cake? That doesn't sound particularly good. Right, the whole radioactive deal. So I just need to put an egg, a flour, not baking flour, like, like the plant flour, so it's already off to a bad start, and whatever else I want, huh? Okay, let's see here, so we'll go with the flour. Uh, we got the floor egg here, no problem. Wonder what happened if I put in another floor egg, right? Would I get egg cake? <laughs> Never seen that before. Let's just uh, close you up and uh, 
In three seconds, we'll find out. I'm supposed to be turning away from this and sterilize myself. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Egg cake. Yeah, that, that's, uh... Ew, that, that's gross. That, that's gross. I, I had to try it. And you, you can leave. That's the go-away bell. Is this thing alive? What are you microwaving now? Stop that. There's something about only hearing crickets and the demands of our stupid, stupid customers that's kind of off-putting. So I'm going to put on some music. Do we want uh, Totally Disco or Euro Dance Remix? One of them is getting played, and one of them is getting turned into cake. I think I just made my decision. Okay, that one gets turned into cake. This one can go in here. Get us some tune skis. Nice and low. Doesn't need to be anything too much. Just a little background music. And we didn't get... Oh. We got a radioactive disc, but it didn't... Oh, come on. It fits so perfectly on the cake. Why, why would that not work? Come to think of it, I don't know if I've ever tried this before, but what happens if you microwave a CD and then try to play it? Right, does it sound the same? Still works perfectly well. That's a lie, okay? Do not microwave CDs. They will not sound the same. I can promise you that. What? For a healthy diet, I require an intake of night food. I normally don't order appetizers, but toast sounds so good right now. Late night toast, huh? You get, uh, CD cake. Here you go. Not good enough? Come on, what's wrong with you? Now I could take a fresh slice off the loaf and put it in the toaster and that would make me a good employee, but I'm not a good employee, so I'm gonna head back to my sink where I should be preparing <laughs> some delicious, delicious, uh, water bread? Yeah, it's nice and soggy. Okay, we'll toast that up for you. <laughs> This should work, right? I don't know, what does water bread turn into when you toast it? Oh, there we go, uh, that that's toast, right? Oh, we can't have water on it. You're too good for soggy bread, I see how it is. Give you one of the slices that touched the water but didn't really get any on it, there we go. Here you go, what do you want now? I miss the taste of pizza with topping. Can I get that? Oh, ho, 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 yeah, now we're talking pizza with topping. I can add whatever I want. You really shouldn't be giving me freedom. She likes to think she's too good for water toast, but in reality, I'm gonna find a workaround. So now we should be able to run that through the blender and that counts as sauce. So now if I pop this in the microwave with uh, just a little bit of floor cheese. Yeah, this one's really touching the floor. That's perfect. We can pop you in there with whatever toppings we want. But they need to be edible, right? We can't use CDs or salt and pepper or something like that. It needs to be pretty much something on the floor. How about cookies? Right? Like I know if you're five years old, you probably think, oh my God, chocolate chip cookie pizza. That sounds absolutely amazing. But in reality, it, it's probably disgusting. I think it's safe bet that it's just gross. There we go. Oh yeah, that looks messed up. That is a cursed food if I've ever seen it. Oh, come on, you want more? No, get the hell out of here. The other chef is faster. Who oh, was he? Well, he didn't have to think about what to put in your food to make you sick. Okay, goodbye, but bring it over here. Our come on. procedures have been increased. Happy promotion, human. Ah, crap. I wanted to grab your coffee or put something in it because then I could serve people well, coffee that you've been drinking out of. That's kind of gross. Uh, I did get a promotion. Human intern to the manager. Okay, well, let's uh, microwave that real quick. I can't use it as a topping, which is depressing because like they're robots. What do they care? But I can get a radioactive promotion. That's pretty sweet. I believe I'm ready for the next customer. I just got done with my late night shift and require food. My doctor recommended soup at least once a day. Need soup at least once a day, huh? Okay, so we need to make him some kind of screwed up soup combination. I could do that. You can just go away for a moment. Oh wait, soup. Soup would be here, right? We got the, the pot. Now, two of anything to make some kind of messed up soup. What are we thinking? My first inclination is that we probably don't need to make this with water and instead can make it with boiling milk. Oh yeah, that's gonna be great. Let's just put the whole thing in, right? We can have uh, milk and what? Milk carton and meatball soup. How did a meatball get in there? 
<laughs> just a little tiny bit of cow left over. Wow, that is... That's something else. Hold on, we're gonna hold on to that because I'm actually curious. Can I make soup and soup soup? Like, what if I make two things of soup? Hold on. If they seriously don't care what I use to make this soup, then you know I'm using wine. Okay, so we have a tomato and mushroom. Okay, yeah, that would sound good if it wasn't made of wine, like I said. But now, if we do you and you, and then you get a little bit of this, little, oh, okay. And now we have soup and soup soup. So this is technically tomato and mushroom, milk and wine, uh, meatball and milk carton. Delicious. I didn't see oil on your menu, so I guess I'll have hot sauce. Oiling myself up, don't even worry about it. Uh, hot sauce? You, you just want my bottle of hot sauce? Oh, you want a cup of hot sauce? Uh, okay, I, I guess. Did you want a little soap in that hot sauce? Because you're gonna get a little soap in the hot sauce, okay? <laughs> Just enough to give you the squirts, but not enough to be noticeable unless you blow bubbles in it. Are you My good? Sweet chip requires cheese for dessert. Cheese for dessert, I can do that. Just you wait. Um, yep, we still got a little bit of floor cheese left down here. There we go. Just, just a little, sorry, there just wasn't much left. And you can go away. I collect the boxes. That's nice. I don't suppose the fish like soup, do they? No? I, I, I don't know why I thought they would. Of course it would just float to the bottom. They're fish, they don't have thumbs to use can openers. <laughs> don't question me, okay? Ooh. I'm so glad you're still open. Starting with apple will help moisture my appetite. You want an apple to moisture your appetite. What the hell does that mean? I was gonna... Oh, I could skip you. No, I don't want to skip people. I wanted to see if I could... Burnt carrots. You can burn stuff before you turn it into soup. Ooh, I, I was gonna use the slip for soup, right? We haven't screwed around with the soup a whole lot. What else can I burn? How about burnt broccoli and uh, burnt carrot and, and wine? It's just so much easier than going to get water, right? There we go. I know you wanted an apple, okay, but I'm busy. This is very important work. Any day now, pot, there we go. Oh, oh, you just gotta hit the tipping point, and we have broccoli and carrot. Doesn't mention anything about being burnt. You can take that home with you, okay? That one's uh, on the house. <laughs> you know you're a bad employee when you just keep breaking glass off of people's faces when you screw off door? Uh, apple. There we go, got an apple, and uh, I can wash it off for you. Just a little bit of soap. I was gonna spit on it, but I ate it. And then I was gonna rub it on my sweaty shirt, but I guess technically I'm just a floating head, so here you go. I would like to consume bacon for my main course. Wouldn't we all? Luckily for you, ma'am, we haven't sold a whole lot of bacon today, so there's still plenty, uh, you know, lying around. This one looks like the rats got to it a little bit. Oh, you want it cooked? Well, la dee da. I'll just toss that on there for you. <laughs> now you gotta wait just the right amount of time. Careful. Hold. And there we go. Perfect. Anything else? I need fluids to feel F5. Please add cup of liquid to my order. F5. Refresh. She needs fluids to feel refreshed. That's funny. Ha 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 ha. Working on something real delicate here. So we have broccoli and steak in a fine wine. So this is really a whole gourmet meal in itself. But then if we blend it up and put that in a cup for you, <laughs> then you should be able to drink it. No problem. Yeah, there we go. You know what? Maybe I'm the best employee ever. That's genius. They're gonna be selling that in no time. It also requires. Cheese. Cheese. Oh, I was like, well, that didn't register. I thought you said Jesus for a second. <laughs> I need half-eaten floor Jesus. There, there, we don't have any left. Surprise, surprise, the first thing that the rats go after on the floor is the cheese. <laughs> Please go away. There we go. This meal warms my CPU. What? What? I told you I was gonna be the worst employee ever. Don't stare at me. 
I need one more customer that wants pizza, okay? So anybody else who comes up here doesn't want I pizza. Have a hot date coming over later, and I need to look like I can make gourmet food. My entree will be egg. So you want me to fry an egg so that you can lock? No, next. You're My you're out of luck. Told me to never eat this late anyway. Yeah, good. See you later. Next. Do you, do you want pizza? If you don't want pizza, get out of the line there, cowboy. I'm here to pick up food for my boss. My circuits are too dry. I need a cup of milk. Like, how am I supposed to assume that that's not a cowboy? He's got a mustache. No, go away. I just wanted to stand in line anyway. Yeah, well, you got your job. Next, next. Come over here. Come over. You want pizza, lady? You got a sick kid that hates tomatoes, something like that? I saw a review of this place, and the food here looks edible. I had a dream this morning that a cup of grape juice would be the next thing I'll need. Oh, don't you worry. I can get you grape juice real quick. Here, you can take it to go. Now, get the hell out of my sight, okay? No soup for you! I just remembered I left my server running. Good. Next. Bring it over here. Come on, for the love of God. Pizza! So this jackass technically doesn't want pizza, but he does want a sandwich. And my mind just kind of lit up like fireworks. I'm gonna make you the ultimate job simulator meal. Okay, this is gonna be intense. And it all starts with the grill. We need to grill, not food, uh, probably like a lemon and a carrot. Yeah, okay, we'll grill some food here. That looks good. And then while that's going, we're going to need, uh, actually, we're going to need hot sauce. There we go. That's perfect. Now, are you guys done? Almost. Now they're done. Perfect. So you guys just go right there. Then we're moving on to the pot. Is there anything left in the pot? No, it's been cleaned out. Wonderful. I appreciate that. Thank you for actually doing something for once. Now we're going to go burnt carrot, burnt lemon, and hot sauce. Turn that on gonna make a lovely soup okay I'm getting there just you wait you can keep talking on the phone or whatever you're doing Ooh, there we go almost perfect now we have a delicious carrot and lemon soup <laughs> now we need to use this grind it up perfect that's gonna go on a slice of bread it looks a little thin. I don't like the fact that it's so watery. We're gonna have to add a little bit more to it. Maybe some bacon, some tomato. You know what, this might be my last one for the day, so I could probably just get a lot of the stuff off the floor. Just kinda mix it all in till we get a nice color. It's still so thin. Why? I'll tell you one thing that isn't thin. These llama pockets are like bricks. Okay, there we go, That that's a little bit better. It, it, it technically looks the same, okay? We need we need a new slice of bread. Something like perfect. There we go. Now, we're moving over to the microwave. <laughs> and, uh... What? Um... Okay. That's kind of interesting. What if we... Ooh! What the hell? Fire extinguisher and fire extinguisher soup. <gasps> Perfect, that will be great. So I can now put you in there and you in there with uh, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of cheese, hold on. There we go, okay. And then hopefully this should make a delicious pizza. I don't know if you can use soup as a pizza topping. You can't, God dang it. Okay, fine, hold on a sec. This is not what you get, you, hold on. We're still experimenting here, okay? We got the radioactive fire extinguisher, fire extinguisher soup. That's going in there. So that's now part of this. We go back to the microwave. We get our cheese. We put that in here and the topping of choice will be uh, oranges. Don't even start about that whole pineapple shenanigans. There we go. Okay, perfect. Now that we have this, we can go onto the sandwich. <laughs> and that will be the base of our sandwich. It's only the beginning. You know I gotta see if this is possible, right? What if we can get employment plaque and cup soup made over a nice thick cream? <laughs> it seems that you could turn anything into soup, so it's perfect, yeah. Plastic cup and nameplate soup, it worked. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so that can go there. And then uh, if that's the case, we could probably do something like that as well. That's how I can get all of the inedible stuff into people's meals. Salt and chili powder soup. Perfect. Now that can all get grinded up. Here we go. Perfect. That'll get put on some bread. We're working through it here. 
Some of these need to be toasted. We have to incorporate the toaster. Wonderful. There we go. So those are nice and good. And then we can move back over to the microwave because these are going to get used for our pizzas, right? We need more cheese. How about we just do a uh, cheese? Oh, yeah. A little bit of eaten cheese and uh, carrots. Why not? Try try some carrots. Come on. Come on. Don't work with me here, guys. Carrots. Perfect. Stop looking at me like I've lost my mind, okay? I'm a genius. We've got carrots. Now, back to the sandwich. Still there. Wonderful. So, we have our... This is nameplate and cup soup toast. And then we have carrot. And then we have... Uh-huh. Good. And we can top it with uh, maybe a nice uh, half-eaten steak. Beautiful, okay, and then with the pièce de résistance, beautiful, wow. I can't even eat it myself. I can't bring myself to do it. <laughs> this is a monstrosity. <laughs> you don't want any more, trust me. As a volume of cup of liquid. There's a cup of liquid in there. You don't even need to worry about it. Here we go. I got some milk that's been on the floor all day. You can. Uh, Maybe have a little bit of that. Oh, oh, careful. There we go. Perfect. Anything else? You can take the milk with I you, too. I normally don't order dessert, but tonight I really want cake with topping. No. <laughs> okay, if you say so. <laughs> so, our cake toppings are going to be interesting, to say the least. Maybe this? If I do that, is it gonna... No, it wouldn't turn into pizza, right? Because I don't have cheese. So this should work. If I put in that and, uh, and an egg off the floor again, right? And, and close that up, I should get a name tag in cup soup pizza? Uh, oh no, right. This is, this is something... Oh my god, I'm completely losing track of what I'm making. This is a nightmare is what this is. <laughs> god missed this one. All yours, and he's good. You, you enjoy this that. Like it a high value. Can you call me in like 15 to 20 minutes? Because I would love to see if you're alive. No, okay, that's fine. You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Job Simulator, guys. And I finally got to screw around with all of the weird combinations of food that I had never really tried before. Like, I, I feel like I compounded everything into one ultimate disgusting meal. So I, that's as good as it gets for worst employee. But if you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like this video, let me know, and maybe the worst employee ever will return for a third time. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.